Okay. Oh, man. I have never been more nervous to film a video on my channel in my entire life. Um, why am I so nervous? Because I know that a lot of people are going to see this video. And I know that a lot of people are going to have opinions and their own judgments. But all I can do is say my truth and this is my journey, my choice, my body. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. I just, this is supposed to be This is supposed to be one of the happiest times in a woman's or a couple's life. And I don't know why. For those of you guys who have no idea what I'm talking about is on January 26th, 2019, so about a month ago, I found out that I'm pregnant and I'm so over the moon excited and happy, but this was not planned. This is not the way that I pictured my life when I was growing up and I never pictured my life to be raising two little ones by myself as a single parent. I, you know, thought that I was going to do things the right way. I thought that I was going to go to college, then get married, then have a happy family, and then have kids. Well, that was not in the cards for me. I had a pretty rough childhood growing up. Many of you guys don't, don't know this, but uh, I dealt with a lot growing up. I had to grow up very quickly. I had to learn how to take care of myself very early on. And I'm not trying to make this like a therapy session here, but I'm just kind of letting you guys know. So anyways, um, I'm pregnant. <laughs> um, surprise. I know it's going to be a shock to a lot of you. And... I have been keeping this in for this past month and it has just been torture trying to it's just been like it's been really difficult not being able to talk about it or anything and it's not because anyone was telling me not to talk about it or anything like that it's just you know I wanted to go to the doctors get my ultrasounds and make sure that everything was okay with the baby and so far everything is okay um, I think I was just really traumatized from my first pregnancy with Harlow that, um, I never honestly wanted to be pregnant again. After everything I went through with Harlow and her being born almost three months premature, my whole pregnancy being told that something was going to go wrong or that I shouldn't go through with this pregnancy. It was a really difficult time for me. And I always pictured my next pregnancy. <sighs> if I ever, you know, was going to have another baby to be planned out and for me to be married to someone who loved me and just cherished me so much and who wanted a baby just as much as I did so 
So we're in this tab and again. I know it's my fault. There was not enough that I did to take precaution. So I'm not blaming anyone. It's just. It's like. I look at all my friends on YouTube and all of the bigger YouTubers that I look up to. And they all have their families and their husbands to support them. And it just sucks because I won't know how that will ever feel because after I have this baby, I don't plan to have any more. Many of you guys might wonder why I'm choosing to have the baby if I don't have a supportive partner or if I don't have enough support or whatever the case may be. And the reason is because I know God has a plan for me. I know God has a plan for my life and I will not end a heartbeat because of my irresponsibility and my stupidity thinking that I was magically invincible and this wouldn't happen again. So I will not end a life inside of me because of those reasons. And the minute that I found out that I was pregnant again, it's like an automatic, I want to protect this baby already and I don't want anyone to come near me or touch me or hurt this baby. And that's exactly how I am with Harlow. I am, I would scratch and just protect her and I'm just fiercely, overly protective and loving towards her and I love her so much and that's how I feel with this baby already so getting rid of the baby is not an option for me and you may disagree to each their own um all I can say is this is my life this is my body this is my choice and I am choosing life I am choosing to give this baby a chance at life and whatever I have to do to take care of my kids, I will do that. And I will fight and scrounge and live more than below my means in order to care and love on these babies and make sure that they are provided for. So I will do whatever it takes. Why did God think that this was the right time for me to have another kid? I will never know. All I can do is just keep trying my best and whatever life throws at me, I'm just going to have to handle it. and. That's what I've tried to do, and that's what I've been doing. And it's like the minute I feel like things are going so well and so great, and then I just get slapped in the face with life again. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. I'm gonna grab a tissue. Anyways, I hope I'm making sense in everything that I'm saying. Um, and I hope I'm not forgetting anything important, but I wanted to let you guys know and I wanted to announce my pregnancy and uh, it's definitely not the way that I thought that I would be announcing my second pregnancy, like I said, but I will be doing this pregnancy alone and 
that makes me really sad because I don't have that support or that person to ask me if I need anything in the middle of the night or rub my back or just rub my feet if I am sore or apparently God thinks that I'm really strong so I guess that's a good thing <laughs> I'm just trying to think of you know the positives here and of course the main positive is that I just have a healthy and happy baby and hopefully this baby is a lot calmer than Harlow um, but yeah Am I going to have another preemie? I don't know. I can't tell you guys that. I can't predict the future. <sighs> All I know is that my doctors and the whole team of people in my doctor's office um, are really, you know, doing everything in their power and taking very, a lot of preventative measures in order for me to have the safest and healthiest pregnancy thus far i haven't uh i haven't even seen my doctor yet to be honest i haven't seen my ob i've only seen uh the nurse practitioner which is right underneath her and uh, i'm not going to go into too much detail because i'll give you guys preg weekly pregnancy updates but so far everything's looking good with the pregnancy um i've seen the baby's heartbeat multiple times on the ultrasound monitor so that's good uh but yeah going back to if i'm gonna have another preemie baby i i don't know i can't answer that i pray to god every single day that i can carry this baby to term because being in the NICU for three months every single day and not being able to take your baby home it wears you down being in a dark room every single day not talking to anyone just sitting there just hoping that your baby is okay every single day it's like a lot I really do hope that I can carry this baby sorry I hope that I can carry this baby to term I'm praying for minimum of 38 weeks um, but if I could get to 40 weeks that would be wonderful if I get to 38 weeks I would be over the moon happy so that's all I can say about that I had this feeling with Harlow that everything would be okay i was under a lot of stress when i was pregnant with harlow i was in the middle of a real estate transaction i was working until two o'clock in the morning at a restaurant in laguna beach as a waitress so i was constantly on my feet i was constantly making phone calls i was constantly stressing over this real estate deal because it involved adam and his family and yeah I was really stressed out so this time around I'm trying not to stress as much I am definitely keeping a lot lower profile I'm trying to just relax as much as possible although that's pretty hard I do have some footage uh, from when I first found out the day that I found out so I will show you guys that right now hello This is a sticky situation. Oh my god. I just took... Maybe I should put some clothes on. This is why I have been breaking out so bad. I've been so hungry all the time. And this is why. It's because I'm pregnant. 
again. Holy crap. I can't believe I'm pregnant. Like what? Oh my gosh. I took two plan B's this month. Adam was right there watching me and I still got pregnant. Doing everything with Harlow on my own by myself was one of the hardest experiences of my life, but definitely the most rewarding. And I can't imagine my life without her. I couldn't imagine my life without her. So it's just like, I just don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do. Like I'm a single mom. How did this happen to me again? Well, I know how it happened to me again, but I'm in disbelief. Now I know why I've been breaking out and my skin is horrible. Oh my gosh. I mean, we were just getting on a good level as far as like us went. I don't know. I'm just super stressed and I have no one to talk to about this. <sighs> Alright, in case you guys wanted to know what the second test said, I don't know why they put one of these and one of these in there in the same box, but um, they sh I wish they would have just done both digital, but whatever. That one says pregnant too, so... I'm pretty convinced that I'm pregnant, although I definitely can't wait to see the ultrasound to make sure that there's a heartbeat and baby is healthy. I also have some footage of um, me getting an ultrasound with this baby, so I will show you that as well. So here's your uterus here and then the baby there. This is the gestational sac here. This is what we call the yolk sac. And then this is the baby right there. And the little heart beating there, you can see it fluttering there. So cute. That's your little one right there. Oh my gosh. It's tiny. Mm-hmm. So okay, I'm gonna remove the transducer here now. I'm a little uncomfortable. Okay. The point of me wanting to film this video was basically to let you guys know that I'm pregnant and to announce it and let you guys know that no matter what anyone else is telling you, do what you want to do in your heart. Do whatever is laid on your heart because at the end of the day, Nobody has to lay their head on your pillow and know the things that you've done or haven't done. And it's your life at the end of the day. And I think that if you live your life listening to other people or constantly living the way someone else is trying to tell you to live, you won't ever live your life and you won't ever have a fulfilled happy life so I try to do the things that are in my heart and that I feel is best for myself and my daughter and my family and if you don't agree with that then you don't agree with that that's your personal choice your own life and we clearly live separate lives so that's fine but all I can say is do what's best for you and your children or your baby, born or unborn, do whatever you feel is the right choice and the right decision and it'll all be okay. If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will be okay and I can guarantee you that. God does not make mistakes and God doesn't create life for no reason. I hope that this doesn't turn into like a political post or anything in the comments. I just, that's not the intention of this video. The intention of this video is for me to tell you guys that I'm pregnant and 
that my entire life is going to change very shortly and I don't know what the future holds for me. I don't know. But all I know is that I can just keep doing my best and I have to keep doing my best and just raising my daughter the right way and leaning on my friends for support. I have the most amazing friends. You guys know who you are. Um, my friends are like my family to me, so I am so blessed that I have friends that will support me in whatever decision that I've made and will continue to make. Here's another thing. <laughs> I want to say that I'm nine weeks pregnant give or take I'm not sure exactly all I know is that I asked my nurse practitioner on the 20th of this month which was my last doctor's appointment and uh, she said that I was seven weeks and four days pregnant which that makes sense because I believe hold on I have something in my eye so I guess that would make me almost eight weeks pregnant if I conceived on New Year's Eve I still don't know my exact due date but she said that I was seven weeks pregnant and my due date was on September 20th 2019 so I don't know all I know is that the baby's gonna be due sometime at the end of September so I don't know my exact dates or exactly how long how far along I am but uh, Maybe you guys are wondering why I wanted to announce this pregnancy so early on and the reason for that is because A. It's my personal choice and B. I want to have these memories documented as much as possible because the one thing I regret is not documenting my pregnancy with Harlow all the way through or as early as I could because I'll never get those memories back and uh it's one thing to write things down and have a book, but to have a video log of how you were feeling, how what you were going through, your emotions and everything at that specific time is something, it's irreplaceable. It's like, there is no price on that memory to look back on. So, and especially if I have another preemie baby, I, I want to have these memories on camera and I want to be able to look back and remember this and um, like I said this is most likely going to be my last and final pregnancy I don't want to have any more kids after this um, this is going to be it so I want to make sure that I document every step of the way and I do totally regret not filming my whole NICU stay with Harlow um, just because it was hard in the moment it was really hard but looking back the memories are so faint and you forget a lot you block certain things out that you don't want to remember and I just wish that I would have had an everyday diary of what I was going through whether I put it on out to the public or not I wish that I would have filmed a lot more during that period of my life so um, I don't want to have that feeling of regret or anything like that with this pregnancy so that's the reason why I wanted to announce it so early on and also because I'm excited <laughs> I I'm gonna have another baby I'm gonna be a mom of two like that's so insane to me. I never ever thought, I never thought that I would become a mom, let, let alone being a mom of two. I was an only child growing up, so I never had brothers or sisters. I always had friends and like a best friend or my mom had, you know, really close girlfriends and then I would always play with their kids and I got really close to my mom's best friend's son and we were like brother and sister and that was the closest thing that I've ever had to a sibling so besides that I grew up 
by myself. I grew up maturing very quickly and becoming an adult very quickly because I had to. Uh, my mom was also a single mom, so I saw a lot. I never wanted to be a single mom because, oops, I never wanted to be a single mom growing up because I knew the struggles that my mom went through and um, here I am. <laughs> So anyways, all I know is that I hope that this resonates with some of you. I don't want anyone's sympathy. I don't want anyone's sorrow or pity on me because that's not what I want at all. I'm going to boss up and I'm going to do this and I'm going to handle my responsibilities, handle what I need to handle. And if you guys want to join this ride with me, then by all means, let's do this because it's happening and this is life and whatever life throws at me or you I think that you kind of just need to take a step back for a minute and really evaluate how you handle that situation and evaluate where you want your life to go and what you picture your life to look like and for me that's not taking the easy way out I will never take the easy way out to benefit myself. Um, I will always fight for my children and I love this baby fiercely already and I will always protect my kids no matter what. So with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it helped someone out there even if it just helps one mother who is just doesn't know what the right thing to do is I just hope that you're watching this and you see this and know that everything will be okay as long as you have faith that's it so anyways I think this video is long enough but I hope that message came across and I hope that you guys don't think any differently of me or thank you guys for always supporting me thank you guys for always leaving kind and nice comments on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram um, I hope you guys stick along for the ride. I will be doing weekly up updates on this pregnancy, so hopefully you guys will stick around and just thank you. Thank you for lifting me up in times like this when I don't have that support. So you guys are my support. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one.